We used to have so much clutter that it was on my mind all the time. I had so much anxiety and stress that I didn't even realize. And it's moments like this one, where my kids are smiling, having a great time, but on the other side of this camera is me. And I am not thinking about clutter. I am not thinking about what I need to situate or organize or do when I get home. I have freed myself of my belongings and it's opened up my world in minimalism. And it enables me to just stop and be present the way that children are very present in their own lives. Every time I try something on my minimalist journey, things get a little bit easier. Life gets a little bit easier. Last week, we had to travel to Virginia. This week, we're also traveling to Virginia again for my husband's work. And I challenged myself to make life a little less complicated on this trip and get us all into one suitcase. And along the way, I made notes of 23 things that I did to make that possible. Living with less really has been helping me pack less. <laughs> Realizing after living with less things every day for nine months, almost 10 months, I realized how much we really don't need to bring on a week's vacation to the beach. And let me share with you how I got everybody's stuff into one suitcase. wearing slippers, that didn't work. Welcome to the channel, my name is Erica Lucas and I share videos every week about living with less and minimalism. The first tip that I have for you is to use multi-purpose shoes on your trip. And I have a pair of brown sandals that I can wear to the beach, out to dinner, running errands, driving home. You wanna choose a pair of shoes that you can wear with multiple outfits to multiple occasions so you only have to pack one or two pairs of shoes. Number two is along the same vein, to plan to rewear the clothes you're bringing. I usually pick one main color to pack for the week. This particular week I've chosen blue and I worked around blue. I happen to be wearing brown because I brought one brown shirt, but everything else is centered around the color blue. So I've brought layers and different uh, types of blues that go together and I plan on rewearing the clothes that I'm bringing. I've only brought three full outfits for seven days and I can interchange them differently. I planned my outfits based off our agenda. So back down in the Virginia Beach area, because my husband has to finish his tour here and we are gonna be going to the Norfolk Botanical Gardens, the beach. Um, so if we go out to a restaurant, if we go walking around down waterfront, I have different outfits that I can wear and I plan based off of our agenda or the things that I know we're going to be doing. So I have the right clothes for the right occasion. Another thing I do is I try on the pieces together to make sure they do work the way I think they're going to. And because I already operate with a capsule wardrobe, I already know that everything that I'm choosing, I love wearing. So now I just need to make sure they work together on a trip. I chose blue as the main color and I worked from there. If you choose colors and layers that go together, you can pack less and avoid overpacking, which is what I used to do. <laughs> and I happen to be staying at locations for our beach vacation here that have a washer and dryer. So I can plan to do laundry. You can bring laundry in fillable plastic containers. Just put saran wrap on it before you close it. It'll help prevent leaking when you're traveling if it's in your bag. And I just plan to do laundry so that I can pack less to bring. These little plastic bottles that we have, I use them for shampoo, face soap, detergent. You can put a little bit of toothpaste in a contact case or a travel case. Another easy way to lighten the load is to bring bar soap instead of liquid soap for your shower pack your books in your phone or pack your books in a lightweight Kindle or a Nook or some kind of electronic reader so that you're not bringing a book with you. Another way that I packed on this trip 
was to use USB adapter for multiple cords. So if we brought two blocks and four cords for the iPhones, the iPads, and the Kindles. And so I wrap them up with a little rubber band so that it's compact and doesn't get all crazy in your bag or in your carry-on. I also happen to use compatible devices. Our two iPhones and one of our iPads shares one cord. Then we have two older iPads that share a cord. And then we have a Kindle cord that's shared with three Kindles. That's a lot of devices for a vacation. <laughs> okay, I have, what did I say? Three cords, four cords, whatever. I have the minimum number of cords for the devices that I'm bringing, which sounded like a maximum number of devices. Next trick I have for you is to roll your socks army style. You can Google this, you can YouTube this on to see the trick. I'm gonna show you quick how to do it. You lay the two socks together, tuck the top under, tight roll from the toe up, and then flip it over the sock. And it makes it compact, they stay together. The next trick might help you where I also then take those socks rolled or not, and shove them into shoes before I pack the shoes into the suitcase. You also can maximize the clothes space that you need in a suitcase by using compression cubes. In the last video about travel, I shared these compression cubes from Lean Travel. I'll leave a link below. They are not sponsoring this video, but I love these cubes. They are double zip compression cubes. And I was able to fit our family of five, all of our clothes, for day, night, sleepwear, swimwear, three outfits per person, and my husband's uniforms, all in one suitcase using these compression cubes. <laughs> and talking about clothes, when I put them into these compression cubes, I tight roll the clothes to make even more use of the space inside these compression cubes. I roll the clothes so I can get even more inside these cubes. Bag your shoes in your suitcase. Use something to contain the dirt of your shoe. I tried to match the bag to the trip and not the goods and not the stuff I need to pack to the bag. I knew I didn't want to bring a bunch of bags. I knew I really wanted to see if I could fit us in one suitcase. Maybe you're traveling by plane for a week and you just want to bring a carry-on and not have to deal with checking luggage. And so you are matching the bag to your trip and then trying to figure out how to fit the goodies inside the bag. Check out this minimalist travel bag. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. I do not own this bag, but I, if I were back in my work travel days, this is a bag I would absolutely treat myself to because you can, it's, it's a garment bag that unzips and folds out completely. So I could put all my dress clothes in the garment bag section, pile play clothes on top, and sh there's a compartment for shoes. And it's, I mean, and then it zips up into a carry-on, I mean, where was this thing when I was working and traveling every week in my 20s and 30s? Where was this bag? <laughs> I would buy this bag for myself, but that's not my life anymore. My travel luggage now is a suitcase that fits five. And as you're packing that bag, figure out what you need to bring on your trip. Check the weather. Do you need an umbrella? Are you going to the beach and you need a beach hat? What do you need to bring with you on your trip? and make sure you pull that into your pile before you start packing. And that's another tip. Gather all your things together in one area before you start packing. So you can make sure one, that you can fit it all, and two, that the bag you've chosen for your trip is the right bag. Another thing that I do when we, when we travel is I bring my jewelry in something small so that one, I don't lose it, and two, I don't forget jewelry. And then you can also just wear any jewelry for your trip until you get there so that you also don't lose it in your luggage. If you do have a suitcase, pack it heavy at the bottom, not the back side, so that you want all the weight towards the bottom, towards the wheels, so that when you do turn your suitcase upright, it's easier for you to drag to your destination. If you do plane travel and you are checking a bag, make sure you also bring a carry-on with extra clothes, extra phone charger, and your medications. Things that you really could not do without for a 24 hour period before your luggage is found. I have had luggage lost by multiple airlines many times that I have learned this lesson well. Last week was my first travel as a minimalist and this video right here will show you how I pulled it off. This trip I pulled off even less stuff.